Hey Leo. So we're going to get into your October love reading. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. The link to the extended will be in the description box. And for all your coffee and glam needs, you can visit the Glam Cafe at www.theglamcafe.com. And I'm just trying to get a good shuffle here. I watched a reading yesterday where the person did all signs in one reading. You know, readings just pop up on my timeline probably because I post that kind of content. And this person, <laughs> I'm y'all just be careful with these readings. That's all I'm gonna say. But you know, the cards need to be cleaned, and most of the time readers won't show you that. Um, but I definitely clean cleanse the cards in my space with Palo. Um, the cards need to be cleansed and even a good shuffle will cleanse the cards and really get the energy going um, but the cards definitely need to be shuffled good so, give it one more Also, knocking on the cars three times will cleanse the energy. So, <clears throat> your current energy is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the Three of Swords in reverse. And you see me flip the deck trying to get an upright and just didn't happen. Your person's energy is the Eight of Wands upright, the Eight of Pentacles upright. And the five of wands. Okay. So that's you guys' this energy. Bottom of the deck is the sun. Okay. So Leo. Let's get some mutual energy here. So Leo, you're in your power right now with that bottom of the deck being the sun card. I think you're looking for happiness, but you're not looking for that happiness with this particular situation. I feel like at one point you were really heartbroken about the situation with that three of swords being in reverse. Not so much now though. Okay. You are definitely, well, you know, I'm going to take those healthy choices talking. So this is the mutual energy. I'm using the Island time. Um, oracles. Give me one more. So I feel like you, um, I, I feel like you're not as broken up about it as you once were with this three of swords in reverse. Uh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You may feel like you've taken, you took a loss in this situation, okay? Um, something just did not get off the ground with this situation. Heartbroken, okay? So, <clears throat> I feel like, uh, again, I feel like at one point you were very heartbroken about this situation. Not so much anymore, though, that three of swords in reverse. Could be dealing with a fire sign. I mean, an air sign, sorry. With this queen of cups in reverse, uh... I feel like you are really just focused on self and we'll have to, you know, clarify. But I just feel like you don't have a lot of emotion about something that didn't get off the ground. Okay. In terms of this relationship, you're no longer emotionally invested or mentally invested um, in the fact that this relationship did not, uh, did not do what you wanted it to do. Let's get a, let's get Kipper. I used to be so afraid of these cards when I first got them. <laughs> when I first got Kipper cards, because Kipper is like fortune telling cards. And when I first got these cards, every time I would shuffle for myself, because I always pull cards on myself before I ever use a deck um, in a reading, just so I can get familiar with it. And every time I would pull from here, I would always pull the thief card. And I was like, oh my God, somebody... Somebody's going to try and steal from me or somebody's going to be trying to, you know, to take from me. And the more and more I thought about it, you know, the thief 
can mean so many things. Thief can mean a, a thief of your time. And we're not, and I don't read those in the reverse. So sudden wealth. Mm. So somebody could be coming into some money here. Uh, but a thief can be a thief of your joy, a thief of your happiness, a thief of your time. You know, thief doesn't just have to be money. So once I got past that, <laughs> I, I fell in love with these cards. Courthouse. So somebody could be getting some kind of settlement. Mm. I'm going to take this bottom one. Gift. Whoa. And great fortune. Mm. We're going to clarify those. Wow. Okay. So definitely some money somebody's gonna be coming into some money here could be due to a settlement with this courthouse card okay so i feel like your person is making big progress in something related to their job okay i feel like they could be in some kind of competition or they could be climbing the corporate ladder or something like that with this five of wands definitely there could be some conflict around them or they can be in some kind of conflict but I, I really when I'm just looking at that without clarification, it looks like to me your person is really making some progress in terms of their job or in terms of work. If they're in some kind of school or if they go to school, they're making progress toward a degree. Something like that. So the mutual energy here is healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. So that goes right along with that sun card being in reverse and then this queen of cups in reverse. Where I feel like you, you're, you're cut off emotionally um, from this situation. And maybe just taking time for self, okay? Talking. Interested. Conversing more. Awaited messages. Arriving. Text. Call. Email. And what is that hoovering? So you guys may want to mutually speak to each other, especially with this eight of wands here. Um, that's also about communication. But with this three of swords here in reverse, you could be at a place now where you can talk to this person. So it may have been at one point where you couldn't talk to this person and now you can. Okay. And then heartbroken, deep hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. I feel like you guys are separated. Um, and I feel like you guys both can be hurt, okay? But I don't feel like you are as hurt as you once were in this situation. We got three of swords in reverse, okay? So clarify healthy choices, okay? Ace of swords. So I feel like you've, <clears throat> I feel like you both have come to some kind of clarity or you both have gotten some kind of enlightenment on what it is that you need to do. in terms of life um, and you're just making better decisions okay clarify the ace of swords I feel like <laughs> you guys both know that putting more work into the situation probably wouldn't be the smart thing to do so I feel like you mutually both of you guys have come to some kind of uh, uh, agreement or have come to some kind of truth that not putting in any further work in this situation um, is what is needed right now. Okay. Clarify talking. Page of Wands. I feel like you guys both want to message each other though. Each other though. And it... I feel like you guys both want to talk to each other, but you're taking your time or you're being real slow about it. You're being real slow about it. Maybe you want to wait until you have something tangible to say. Okay. But this is the mutual energy. I really feel like both of you guys want to talk to each other. Clarify heartbroken. Yeah. Both of you guys were heartbroken in this situation, but with that eight of cups there, both of you decided to walk away. You guys just knew that you just didn't work together with this three of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So you just didn't work well together and, and you both walked away. Um, no matter how it hurt. Could be dealing with it. And water sign. You got earth up here and you got fire. And um, air. So any 
any sign. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Cups. So I feel like no matter how many apologies that you guys had with each other or no matter the amount of feelings that you had for each other, it just couldn't get off the ground, the situation or the relationship. And it caused a lot of a lot of anxiety and heartache. OK, so I, I just feel like, you know, this situation, it, it just feels to me like you've tried more than once with this situation and it just couldn't get off the ground. OK, no matter how much love was there no meaning no matter how many apologies this particular situation just caused you a lot of anxiety i feel like you want to come in from e from having emotional baggage or emotional hurt that's why that three of swords is is um is in reverse okay but i feel like you want to come out of that with that five of pentacles in reverse Right now, you are emotionally unavailable, and I feel like you want to come out of that. You may, you may be very cold-hearted right now. Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, you're cold. You're cold-blooded right now. Okay, okay, Leo. Yeah, you ain't playing no games right now. So you may be very cold, very um, logical, and I feel like you want to come out of that because possibly you're not normally like that. You're probably normally very feeling and very caring and this relationship <coughs> excuse me <coughs> this relationship has caused you to be kind of cold and i don't think you really like that it's not your normal self three of cups and i mean three of swords in reverse and a judgment card i feel like this is something that you gave a second and a third chance to and so this time around you're not as hurt about the breakup as you once were or in times before and with this temperance card here it could be dealing with a sagittarius you're more focused on healing. Um, hmm, hmm, let, me, let me clarify this again. Give me another card on this judgment and temperance. Queen of Wands in reverse. Justice in reverse. So you feel like you were done wrong in this situation. And you're not making any kind of moves uh, with this Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, because this is you, Leo. So you're not making any kind of moves in this situation. And I almost feel like you want them to make some kind of move towards you. But you were reconciling this. With this judgment here and this temperance here, even though you feel like you were done wrong, could be dealing with a Libra, and you're not taking any action, you would you'd reconcile if this person came towards you is what I'm getting from that. You're real cold and stuff, which is probably what keeps them away from you. But you'd reconcile if they came towards you with a solid offer. Clarify this Eight of Wands for Leo's person. Yeah, this person want to talk. This person wants to talk to you. Could be dealing with an Aries. Or Leo Sagittarius, and then you got air here with this page of swords. This person wants to talk, okay? Possibly about a new beginning. Give me another card. feel like you're trying to dodge them with this seven of swords here or feel or they may feel like you've been dodging them but they want to talk to you about a choice they've made okay yeah because they don't want to miss an opportunity with you here with this four of cups in reverse they want to talk to you about opportunities i mean about a, a decision that they've made they've made but they but i think they feel like you're trying to dodge them okay why is this eight of pentacles here so I feel like they may want to put work in on this relationship. I feel like they might want to hold on to this. Yeah, three eights here. It's some money. Somebody getting some money here. Eight, eight, eight. That's pros um, That's prosperity. 
I can't even talk. That's abundance. Okay. All these money cards down here. Somebody getting some money. Uh, this person could be making a lot of money or something. Okay. Um, but this person may, this person feels tied to this situation. Okay. With this eight of swords here. And I feel like they're trying to hold on to the situation. They want to actually put some work in on it. They want to actually put in some work on this. Why is the five of wands here? I feel like you're their wish fulfillment, but because there's so much conflict with you guys that they haven't come towards you and offered you the cup here with, with, with this page of cups in reverse. I feel like, yeah, bottom of the deck, Leo, strength card. I feel like they're holding themselves back from, from speaking to you or having a conversation with you um, about this or even offering you any kind of love offer because of the conflict that surrounds this. I feel like you're very, very cold right now and you're probably being very, um, you're probably upset and being very mean to this person. And so they won't, they're not going to come towards you. Okay. Mm. Clarify sudden wealth. Okay. I feel like it's something that something that somebody here has been fighting for and waiting for for a while. They've been fighting for it and waiting for it to manifest. Okay. So whatever, so whatever it is, it's going to happen suddenly. So if you've been fighting and waiting on some kind of settlement or wait, waiting for something, it's going to, it's coming. Okay. Clarify courthouse. High priestess in reverse. Nine of Wands. I feel like somebody rushed down. I feel like somebody didn't do their research or didn't do their due diligence. Maybe you have a lawyer or they have a lawyer that didn't do their due diligence and just rushed into something. And that's what held this up. Okay. But again, Queen of Pentacles and the, at the bottom, stability is coming. Stability is coming. There could be, you guys could be divorcing. And maybe that's what the fight is about. It could be a divorce here. Somebody could have been telling some lies or something could have came out that caused this, that caused some kind of hold up with that high priestess in reverse. Something could have came out. Some kind of truth could have came out that sped something up. Some stability is coming. Okay. Stability is coming. Clarify gift. You may have received a gift from somebody that was somebody that. Okay. You may get some kind of gift from your person. Okay, that you were once in a committed relationship with or somebody that you were once in a committed relationship with with this eight of cups, with this four of wands, with this ace of cups here, it, it may be in, it, it may have been delayed or something was held up. This could have also been an unrequited situation with someone. Okay, but you may receive a gift from this person could be a fire sign because king of wands is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Clarify great fortune. This reading was all over the place. Clarify great fortune. Yeah, and king of wands. This person may have a lot of money. Or this person may be manifesting a lot of money with this magician card and this king of wands. This person may be manifesting or um, creating something that's going to bring a lot of money. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Somebody could be taking some kind of action, okay? That's going to bring a lot of money. But there's some money coming here. Give me one more card on this um, courthouse. Give me one more card on this courthouse. Three of swords. Something could...
it could have came out that somebody so if somebody had like a prenuptial agreement or something like that where where infidelity um caused you not to get anything it's gonna come out that somebody else was in for what was uh cheating or something like that something's gonna come out that's gonna change this to to somebody's favor okay i think they may i think it may come out that this person had somebody else this is very specific right here this is very sp specific okay this portion right here this courthouse portion something's gonna come out okay that there was a third party here you know an um uh, um, imbalance in this relationship that had to do with another person another woman with this queen of pentacles here that 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 knight of wands is somebody that goes back and forth between people and it's going to come out that this person has somebody else okay maybe during a divorce proceeding okay that is going to cause you know this this settlement but i feel like there's going to be a settlement something that there's been long-term fighting and you've been waiting for it okay in a relationship where the love was unrequited with this ace of cups in reverse this person could have also been trying to hide money and that may be what comes out they may have been trying to hide assets mm. Mm. let's get some advice leo i don't even know what i'm gonna title your reading a title of yours the truth comes out <laughs> big happy changes I'm, I'm telling you something somebody finna get somebody's finna get uh, a blessing remain positive you gotta remain positive in this situation okay so big happy changes remain positive let's get one more oh we need to pull tester's tarot too no so if you were thinking about uh reconciliation or anything like that with this person i, I feel like that answer is no or if you were asking where things going to come together for you and this person i feel like the answer is no I just saw somebody secretly pregnant. That may be what comes out. Something gonna come out. How many messages that you have? They want to provide for you. Okay, so they may have always taken care of you. Um, and they want to continue to take care of you, seems like. They like you as a friend only. Mm. So if they're if they are trying to come back towards you, I, I feel like it would be to protect their assets. They are heartbroken. Hmm. Give me one more. Leo, you got to use your discernment because this this reading is really all over the place. They want to call or message you. Okay, so I, I, I knew that. Both of you guys actually want to do that. <laughs> to be honest, both of you guys want to. You, Leo, you're going to have to take from this what you can take from this because this reading is very, even though it's a general reading, this is very specific to somebody. This situation is, okay? So, Leo, I hope this was helpful for you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more into your person, meet me over in Extended where we'll dig into them further and I'll speak to you soon.